up kings and queens thank you for tuning back in to vibing with the wesley's don't forget to hit that like button subscribe and comment thanks for watching hey guys so i normally don't do videos like this like content like this but um i've been watching i've watched this live last night and it's disturbing it's disturbing me it's disturbing how i'm looking at youtube because i feel in my honest opinion that people should be held accountable for the shit that they say for the shit that comes out their mouth you understand what i'm saying and um they don't this live that i watched was about my jazzy's life you understand what i'm saying and I watch her. I love her channel. I love what she stands for as a mother, as a person. You understand what I'm saying? But I think it's highly disrespectful that people talk about her like that. Like, you don't even know her and you're judging her. You understand what I'm saying? You're judging what she shows us. You understand? <sighs> like... This young lady said, oh, she gets on here any type of way. There's no way in hell that you don't have time to get yourself together. And this is coming from someone that has one child. Now, my jazzy life has four kids. And two of the kids that she has are 11 month old twins you understand what i'm saying so those are babies they require attention you understand what i'm saying and the fact that she's going through something in her personal life with her baby father yes to find employment it is gonna be hard because if she's not getting any type of government assistance, because she did say she did receive government assistance before, and they cut her off. You understand what I'm saying? So that means if you're watching her, you're not listening to the things that's coming out her mouth. Because she did say she received TANF before, and they cut her off. You understand what I'm saying? So if they cut you off, you're not eligible for anything that's pertaining with daycare, rent assistance, you understand you'll get Medicaid and you'll get food stamps and that's it. So if Phillip's in jail and she got to go out and look for a job and she gets a job, who is supposed to watch her kids when she has to start working and don't have a check yet to pay for daycare? You understand what I'm saying? So it's like when people talk on that situation, how it's like, Y'all not even making any sense. You understand what I'm saying? At all. Then homegirl says, oh, her house is always dirty. She comes on YouTube looking any type of way. Like she don't wash her face or don't shower. And then she says, oh, she needs to wash her ass. I fell out. You understand what I'm saying? Because I'm like, yo, this girl got a lot of nerves. Like, a lot of nerves. And you doing this for clout and subscribers. And if anybody entertains that type of shit like that, like, that tells who you are as a person as well. You understand what I'm saying? Um... For her to sit here and say she uplifts women, no you don't, baby. You sat here for an hour and 41 minutes and bashed one person. You bashed one person. You understand what I'm saying? You you spoke about her children. You said She said highly disrespectful things about this woman's children. You understand? Um, you talked about her mother. <laughs> like, who does that? <laughs> Who talks about somebody's mother in 2019? You understand? She said, oh, I don't see how she's a grown woman and could live with her mother. She stayed with her mother. Her mother has her own life. And her mother let her and her children 
hold her apartment down until Jasmine found her a place, her own apartment. She did that. You understand what I'm saying? Um, and people were proud of her for that. Then you have some people who was mad. Like, why are you upset that this lady has her own apartment? You understand? Um, then she got on the topic of Philip. Oh, he ain't shit. Um, how do you know that? Is that your man? Is that your man? That's not your man. Then she got on the topic of her mother being a doctor and what her mother didn't do that Jasmine's doing. And I'm listening and I'm like, the difference is Jasmine's not your mother. Jasmine's Jasmine. The fact that this lady said, oh, she complains. Let me tell you something. She is a single mother. Not because she wants to be a single mother. She's a single mother because her man can't get himself together on his behalf. Not on her behalf because her shit's together. You understand what I'm saying? So she has the right to complain. That's number one. She has the right to be tired. She has the right to be frustrated. And she has the right to walk around and pick up her camera and look like shit. Okay? She has that right. Because when you are a mother 24-7, 365 days a week, you don't have time every day to pick up a makeup brush, beat your face. You understand what I'm saying? You don't have time for that. It's no time for that. So, Jasmine, I wanted to say to you, like, keep your head up, baby girl. You out here, you doing your thing. I applaud you. Don't let nobody discourage you from for nothing that you doing. Um... I am not one to judge. You understand what I'm saying? I only, I actually do give my opinions and things like that. But it's not my place to sit here and tell you to leave your man. You understand what I'm saying? Because if somebody coming in here, if you going to leave your man, you going to leave your man. You understand? But Keep raising your kids. You doing your thing with them. You know. And keep being a dope ass person. Because out here. As you can see. Nobody has respect. And respect is due to a dog. And I've never seen. This young lady come out. And be disrespectful. And bring anybody down. And drag another woman through the dirt. You understand what I'm saying. And it's sad that us as YouTube creators, we open our home. We extend an invitation to a bunch of strangers knowing that they're going to judge. And they're going to have nasty things to say. And it's up to us to accept it or, or block it. You understand? And some of the things you hear that comes out people's mouth is... Is degrading. It's disrespectful. It's classless. It's unladylike. Um, and I hate to hear people say, oh, I'm grown. I'm grown. Let me tell you something. Being grown is not telling people that you grown. Your opinion is your opinion. But when you want to be nasty about giving your opinion, that becomes a different thing. Constructive criticism, I felt that this young lady was not giving Jasmine any type of constructive criticism because you not telling her what you think she should change. You're not saying, sis, you know, from woman to woman, I think you should do this or change this about your channel or get into this to make yourself feel better. This young lady wasn't doing that. You understand what I'm saying? And if she is suffering from depression, you don't make it worse by bashing her. 
You understand what I'm saying? And that's the problem with people. We come on here, we vent, and then we get bashed for venting. And it's, it's sad, man. It's sad. Like, y'all women as mothers, y'all sat here, talked about this lady's kids. Like, talked about her kids. Like, I do not fucking get that shit because... When you talk about kids, you crossing all types of boundaries, like, all types of boundaries. Like, where I'm from, you talking about somebody's kids, you getting, you liable to get hurt. I don't care how far you are. You liable to get hurt. Kids are innocent. Kids don't got nothing to do with this. At all. And people open their mouth and talk about this lady's children, her babies, her innocent, precious babies. And then for people to be like, oh, I feel sorry for her. Why? Because she's a single mother. Being a single mother is not a bad thing because single mothers is doing their things these days you understand what i'm saying it's not like the average single mother is out here struggling or anything these single mothers is doing their thing these days you understand they taking care of these babies they teaching them how to be young men young women you understand what i'm saying but they don't get credit for that and i see that a lot on youtube people are quick to sit here and and judge a young mother and a young single mother at that. You understand? And it's wrong. She didn't ask to be a single mother. She didn't ask for that. It happens. It's fucking life. You understand? But um, then I, I'm, I have nothing else to say because People should learn the definitions of the words that they use because opinion and constructive criticism and advice, those have definitions behind them. And when people use them, they use them for all the wrong reasons, like give your opinion. Give your opinion. But at the end of this video, I am going to put those definitions up. And then for her to say... I I try to lift up all black women. If any black woman or any woman, period, watched that video and felt like this girl was uplifting her, because she wasn't uplifting her. She was she was not uplifting her. You understand what I'm saying? And <laughs> I don't know. But you guys have a blessed day, and I'll see you guys another time.